In this video, I'm going to introduce a very important technical exercise and I'm going to call it five finger patterns exercise. Okay, so five finger pattern. So five finger pattern means I'll use the C as an example. If you place your thumb on C and place rest of your finger that follows, which will be D, E, F, G, okay? Simply, this will be called C five finger position. And if you examine all the relationship between each keys, between the two keys, okay? So for example, C to D, it'll be whole step. D to E will be a whole step. E to F, will be a half step and F to the G will be a whole step. So I have a name for this very special formula which is made of whole step, whole step, half step, and whole step, okay? I'm gonna call it major five finger pattern. Um, it doesn't matter where you start, any of the 12 keys between C and C, okay, octave, which will be the basic, uh, the foundation of the Western musical system. Uh, and we know there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 equally spaced keys, okay? And they are all half steps apart because they are the smallest unit. Any keys, they are next to each other. It's called half step, okay? And if you have keys in between, there, there's a one key in between any two notes, for example, C and D. Their relationship is called whole step. We already learned this from piano one, okay? Half step is the smallest unit in a Western musical system when there's no keys between the two. But if you have one key between the two notes, the relationship now turns into whole step. Simply, it means Two half steps are combined to create a whole step. So we know between E and F, since we don't have a black key, this is already naturally what? Half step. B and C is also what? Half step. Okay? So back to the C five finger pattern, or called major five finger pattern, you're gonna have whole step, whole step, half step here, right? And whole step. All right, so this is a, what I call C major five finger pattern. I want you to be able to create this pattern on any of the white keys. Next one, D, okay? So let's create the same formula. Whole step will be E, whole step will be F sharp, half step will be G, and whole step will be A. And I want you to be very careful, okay, naming the letters because our keys whether black or white color, they can have multiple names, correct? This black key, which I just named as F sharp, can be also called as a G flat. So you gotta make sure when you create a five finger pattern, the letter has to be in succession, which means if you start on D, next one should be E, then F, G, A, okay? If you start on E, to create a five finger position in major form, it'll be E, F, G, A, E. And you gotta check the relationship between the two nodes and see if you're having whole step, whole step, half step, and whole step, okay, as, as uh, what I call formula. And you're gonna put the accidentals to create the exact same formula for every major five finger pattern. All right, um, so hopefully that makes sense to you. So C major five finger pattern is this. And once you combine the root note, which is a C, and the third note from the root, which is E, and the top, the fifth note, G, combining it together, and if you play them as a block chord, the name will become C major triad. Wow, how easy. Simply combine one, three, five. Degree one, three, five. I, I refer to the degree, okay? Um, and let's go to D, do the exact same thing. And degree one, three, five becomes D major triad. I'm going to.
gonna go to E, create the same pattern. Remember, the formula is between the degrees, okay? One to two is a whole step. Two to three is also a whole step. Three to four, it must be half step. And four to five is a whole step, okay? We have the E five finger pattern here. And combine 135 degree, it becomes E major triad. I'm gonna use the F as the first degree and create the same formula, okay? Let's name it together. F, G, A, B flat, C, B flat, A, G, F, and block. F major triad, okay? Next white key is called G. Same formula, so what do we do? Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, and we go back down and combine, one, three, five. G major triads, okay. Next white key is called A. If you spell this, it'll be A, B, C sharp, D, and E, okay. Now, one last white key we have is a B. Let's create the formula, whole step, C sharp, whole step, D sharp, half step, E, whole step, F. I want you to be careful with the B major five finger pattern. Since we have to play F sharp as your fifth note, which you must play with your thumb in the left hand and fifth finger with the right hand, they're short fingers. So you gotta raise your wrist slightly high and don't, don't try to play down here. Can you move your hand slightly towards the piano board, okay? Raise your wrist slightly higher so you have easy access to play all these black keys. Combine one, three, five. B major triads. Um, what I show is a very straightforward quarter note pattern and after um, that followed by the chords. However, when you practice, you have so many options. You could use a whole nose to start with, making sure you have a nice hand positions like this, and moving together, aligning your arms and the wrist, yeah, like this. And you could change to different note, rhythmic notes, half notes, like this. is always steady okay um, another option for practice getting this technique down is maybe use different degrees of staccatos arm staccatos wait three four two three four three four and so on so that way you really master different types of articulations as well um, I'm gonna briefly go over the black keys with you, okay? This black key can be called C sharp or D flat, okay? It's up to you with however you wanna spell it. However, always remember that you have to have five letters in succession. So if you choose this black key name as a D flat, the next one should be E flat, because that's your whole step up, then F, then G flat, then A flat, yeah? And that will be your pattern. This black key. Next black key, I'm gonna call it E flat. Probably easier to spell it. So after E flat whole step is F, whole step, G, half step, A flat, and whole step, B flat. Okay, let's go down the way you went up and chords. Yay! All right, we got three more black keys to use as a basis of, or the first degree note for this major five finger pedal. F sharp, or you could call it G flat. I'm gonna use F sharp, okay, 
is my root or degree one. So the whole step will be G sharp, A sharp, and B, because we want half step here between degree three and four, correct? Your fifth note should be C sharp. And yay, there is F sharp major triads. Okay, two more. I'm going to use this plucky and name it not as a G sharp, but A flat. Easier to spell, okay? That's why. A flat. Then it'll be what? B flat. So whole step. Okay, C. Now I want half step here, right? So D flat. And whole step. E flat. Yeah? And there's your chords. Try it. So name it as A flat major or you could also call it G sharp major triads again depends on the spelling okay you have options for every black key two options last black key we gotta experiment will be I'm gonna use B flat instead of A sharp okay so B flat as your degree one will be C for degree two D for degree three degree four will be E flat then here's your five F, okay? So, whole step, whole step, half step, and whole step. You gotta remember the pattern here, okay? Between the degrees, we gotta create whole step, which means when you have a one key in between. There's a one key in between, the relationship is whole step. Yes, that's also whole step because you got this black key in between. Then we need a half step. Nothing in between, smallest distance. And what? There's another whole step. So B flat, major five finger pattern. And there's your chords. Yay. All right, so in this, after you learn all the patterns from every single keys in an octave, how many are there? Total of 12. So you could create 12 major five finger pattern and also you could create a what 12 major triads. In your recording, please do this. I'm gonna show you an example, okay? This is what I wanna I want to record in your video and submit it for your credit. Here we go. Okay. Tempo can be slow, you don't have to be too fast, but I'll choose my tempo. It'll be quite fast, okay? One and two and three and four and... One and two, there's your chords. Then go to the next key, which is a D flat. what you should record in your video for your points okay um, if this was too much to deal with or hard to understand simply repeat the videos this is the tutorial video will be very helpful and I'm gonna include some other information that will be very uh, helpful uh, along with this um, video so check the patterns for every major of five finger position and I want you to know how to play in different types of articulations, staccatos, legatos. 
all right? Um, I hope you enjoy practice this daily technical exercises that I'm giving it to you right now because this will be such tremendous help for your finger strengths and your development in piano playing. Thank you so much for watching this video.